Hidden dangers for Sacramento firefighter paramedics inside their own ambulances. Maybe the symptoms escalated depending on the person, and some people had different levels of treatment. Those ambulances have now been taken off the road after paramedics complained of diesel fumes inside them. So what's wrong with these vehicles? CBS 13 Steve Large is in downtown Sacramento tonight getting answers. Steve? And I'm live in front of a fire station number two. This is one of the fire stations that had their ambulance removed. These are paramedics who respond to other people's medical emergencies saying these ambulances have been making them feel sick. The problem diesel ambulances are now sitting locked up side by side in this Sacramento equipment yard after Sacramento Fire Department paramedics sounded their own alarm, smelling diesel fumes inside the cabs. The smell led two dozen paramedics to file complaints over three years, many coming this past summer. Each complaint led to paramedics receiving hospital exams. Seven paramedics have filed worker comp claims for injuries. Sacramento is now using private AMR ambulances as replacements. A spokesperson for Sacramento's fire department says the problem with their own diesel ambulances has been ID'd. Fumes can get into the cab when the ambulance is idling and the engine's cleaning system is on. The cleaning system that removes some of this excess soot and excess exhaust particles needs to be run on the freeway at operating temperatures for longer distances than most of these ambulances were getting. Three years? Sacramento's fire union is blasting the city for taking three years to figure out the problem and pull the diesel ambulances from service. In our opinion, what went wrong is the can got kicked down the road and there is no more road. Now, the city plans on replacing all 14 diesel ambulances in the city fleet, a cost that could reach two and a half million dollars. Diesel fumes inside Sacramento ambulances. Paramedics sent to the rescue are now looking for new rides. Pretty incredible here. The city council will be voting next month on replacing all the diesel ambulances in its fleet. And by the way, no patients have officially complained of any symptoms from smelling the fumes. Wow. Well, we're certainly glad they got to the bottom of it. All right. Steve Large reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.